What's up agents, this is Rance with Secure Agent Mentor. And today we wanted to switch it up a little bit different and I wanted to uh, just kind of talk with you, just kind of discuss and, and level with you for a second. Um, a lot of people, you know, they have different tactics and different methods for working leads. Uh, and what I want to do is give you my, my best advice. It might be blunt advice. It might sound like I'm not supportive or whatever, but you know, it's, it, it's the mindset that you got to have to be able to be successful with leads. And I'm not just talking about our leads, I'm talking about any type of lead. I'm talking if you're you know, getting a list off the internet or if you're cold calling or if, even if you're door knocking. You've gotta have the same attitude regardless of what you're doing to not let negativity, not let an obstacle stop you at all. Um, specifically on our leads, we give you three points of contact. Uh, you've got to exhaust all three points of contact. And what those are, the email, the cell phone, or the home phone number, and their address. Most agents, after they call two or three times, they've come, you know they give up on the lead and they don't want to you know work it any longer. They don't want to do anything with that lead. They think it's a bad lead. It's not true at all. You've got to call eight, nine, ten times. If they're not picking up their phone, you get their email. You've got to get creative with like email campaigns as well, so you can constantly at least once, twice a week email these people. Um, even if you've never talked to them on the phone, you've got to continue to reach out and try to try to contact them. Also, uh, we tell most of our agents, and especially the agents we train here, that you've got to door knock leads. Uh, getting in front of someone's gonna give you a lot better chance uh, to, to close them as well. Uh, over the phone, a lot of people are kind of conditioned because of telemarketers to just get off the phone as quick as possible. So if that's happening and you're getting hung up before you can even get your name out uh, to, to the prospect, go by their house, let them know that, hey, we, we got your lead. You know, in our, uh, and with our leads, you can, you know, bring up their favorite hobby or their their balances or anything like that. That would the extra information that we gather, uh, and you can bring that up and start a conversation off of that. And, and you've got a lot better chance to close them when you're right there in front of them because they can't you know hang up on you as easy. So that 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 would be my biggest advice. You know, don't give up on the leads. We hear so many stories about agents. They just well, I called them once or twice and 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 they didn't pick up the phone. I don't care. Uh, you know, we don't care. Our agents here that, that work for us, we tell them that like if you're not if you're not calling them double digits, then I don't even want to hear about this. I don't want to hear the story because the reality is you've got to work hard. Uh, you've got to exhaust that lead. You know, you paid money for them. You paid good money for them. And I'm not saying this from our perspective. I'm saying as, you know, someone who has also bought leads before and, and known that, you know, that's hard earned money that you're spending on these leads. So make sure that you get a return on your investment and it's your sweat equity that's going to get that return. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, follow us on YouTube, um, check out the 8% Nation Conference that's going down in October. It's going to be epic. Insurance agents, if you're not there, I don't know what to say because it's going to be the best insurance conference ever. we got Ray Lewis, Grant Cardone, tons of other speakers. Um, it's going to be a great time. I hope to meet you there, um, and, and we'll see you next time.